Hi, welcome to SG. In this video, we will talk about what is Azure API Management and how to publish your first API using Azure API Management. Azure API Management is the most reliable, secure, scalable way to publish all your APIs in a centralized location. It will provide single interface and essential tools to provision and manage all your APIs. If I go to Microsoft official documentation, API management has three components, gateway, developer portal, API management plane. Let's look at the API gateway. If I go to Azure portal, in API management resource, you have the gateways here. API gateway acts as a front gate to the backend services. The client request first reaches to the API gateway, which then routes them to the backend services. The API gateway verifies API keys, JWT tokens in the request. It can also enforce usage quotas and rate limits. It can also emit logs, which we can use for troubleshooting purposes. The next one is management plane. Management plane provides full access to API management service capabilities. This is nothing but APM resource interface in Azure portal. You can use API management interface to provision, configure API management services. You can define or import API schemas. You can package APIs into products. You can set up policies for each API the next one is developer portal. This is automatically generated, fully customizable web portal for documentation of your APIs. Look and feel of developer portal can be customized to suit your needs. Consumers use open source developer portal to discover APIs and learn how to consume them in application. So using this developer portal, the consumers can read API documentation. They can call APIs via interactive portal create an account and subscribe to get API keys. They can manage the API keys by themselves using this portal. Now let's create Azure APIM resource in Azure portal. Go to Azure portal, click on the create resource, API management, click on create. Select the resource group, region, I will be choosing the one closer to me, resource name, organization, just an email address. Pricing tier, leave it as a developer because for demonstration purpose, uh, you can go to the consumption as well, but there are many limitations within the consumption. For example, you won't get access to the developer portal gateways and things like that. So I'm just choosing the developer. Click on the review and create. Okay. Um, the creation of API management service will take a while. Um, just wait for it. I have my API management service created and ready to go. Now, Let's publish our first API using API management service. For this purpose, I'm going to choose demo conference API. Just take this one. Okay. We're going to use this one to publish our first API. Go to APIs. Now, uh, there are a couple of options for you to import your API, but uh, what we're going to do is we are going to use Open API. Our specification is this. For the URL suffix, just use conference. And then this is how our URL going to look like. Click on create. Okay, we have this one now. It has imported all the operations from OpenAPI specification that was provided. 
For example, you can see get topics. You can simply go to the specification documentation and look for get topics operation. Okay, now let's test this. Go to test. See uh, our end URL, this is how it gonna look like slash conference slash topics. Now just this is a get request, so let's send it directly. Okay, we got 200 and we got response from the topics that are available. Now, if you look at this URL, put this in the browser, you got 401 access denied error. If you look at the request, you have the subscription key associated with this one. So what does that mean is, the APIM, this is APIM URL and it is looking for a subscription key before the request is pa passed to the backend service. In our case, the backend service is this one, which is like configured as part of our open APIM specification import. If you look at this backend URL, hit it in the browser and try to get the topics. See, you got the topics directly. But whereas when you try to access your backend URL through APIM, you got the 401 access denied error. But for now, I'm just unchecking this one. So the subscription won't be required. Just click on save. That is done and go to your APIM URL and hit F5 just to a control F5. Yep. Now you got the response. That's it for this video. In the next video, we will look into products and subscription. If you like this content, please do subscribe. I will catch you in the next video. Thank you.